feel like my skin is looking really good, but my eyes, my eyes are just like not, they're not doing me justice today. You know when people say no makeup, makeup routine, and they put like 20 products on? No, I just filmed this. This is a no makeup, makeup routine. I have one makeup product on, one plus eyebrow gel, that's it. It. Are these ugly? Like tired ugly? Do we go for the tired look or the ugly look? Anyway, yeah, this is a week in the life vlog because my days are very diverse. I always talk about how I have different hats on. Sometimes I have my mum hat, sometimes I have my boss hat, sometimes I work from home, sometimes I work from the office, and you will get to see everything in this vlog. It's a really fun one. Without further ado, let's kick start with Monday. Good morning, we are phone vlogging today, so if the quality isn't great, it's because it's on my iPhone. But we have a very exciting day today. Some of the girls from White Fox are coming to House of Groms for a White Fox Times Sarah's Day activewear fitting. So I get to try on my activewear and like see it for the first time. Usually I will go out to them, but it's like an hour drive. It just like takes a huge chunk out of the day. And with Malachi, it's just a bit harder because I am breastfeeding him. So they said, look, we'll come out to you. So they're gonna come to House of Groms, we're gonna try on. Alright, let's do some Charlotte Tilbury. This is supposed to go like underneath your foundation, but I just kind of use it as my foundation a little bit. Let's not look like a breastfeeding mother and cover these dark circles. Where is my phone? Does anyone have like baby toys, like kid toys that make sounds and then you just find yourself singing them throughout the day? If you're a mom, you might know this one. I'm a soft and happy cow, happy, happy all day long. I sing that all day. All day, I'm a soft and happy cow. Do you hate when your makeup looks good in your house and then you go out and it's like really bad and you're like, what the heck happened? I thought I was peaking today. Well, I like this bathroom because I feel like it's ugly bathroom lighting and then I'm always pleasantly surprised when I go out because I'm like, wow, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Set up a little snack area for us. So the colors are pretty accurate to the swatches that we had. Should I put these two on? Yeah, let's do it. I don't want to be in the Bye! <laughs> <laughs> now, I love the color. Love the back. I always want it to be slightly smaller up here. Do you feel like the straps are really stretchy as well? Really, really, like, look yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can reduce the strap length so you a feel little bit, like, supported. And this is fun. I like the underbust shaping. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I love it. I need to take this off, don't I? Let's do it with it. <laughs> why did I tell you to do it then? <laughs> this is why uh, it's first samples. Oh that was my bad. <laughs> oh my god, it's great! Shit. It's so good. <laughs> don't you think this reminds you of um, Grease? Sandy? Yeah. The black? Georgia! Go and look! I'm so Go and have a look. This is Georgia's day off and she's literally come in to see. Mm. I love it! How good is it? Unpopular opinion. This is you. No one likes one shoulders but me. I love a one shoulder. And the back. I love this. I reckon this is too low. It's too wide, right? Yeah, like I'm all for wide, but like it should start like there. Yeah, could we make it a bit thinner? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This feels great. I love this color. So nice that I'm finally into blues. <laughs> We've gone to the days of my pink vibe. Yeah, this color is so nice. They just had really good reactions to this and I wasn't vlogging, okay? Okay, you haven't seen it before. Okay, come on. <laughs> Elastic that's like threaded into a like a tube, but it may be a bit thicker, like double the thickness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, but I can see every time I vlog, you're like, Whoop! I'm like, you're still, you're still in it. It's such a cool color because it's like still safe. It's, it's like, face. It's yes, like that's what I'm trying to say. It's okay. scary, but <laughs> we can fix it. We can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Don't gonna look, look like this. Don't look. <laughs> Doesn't that look the same? What's no! 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 no. <laughs> so 
this obviously will be smaller. Yep. I love this color, this blue. Like it. it matches my veins. <laughs> <laughs> this color is what? Irritating. <laughs> Milky nips. Milky, Milky moments. Milky moments. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi. What's in there? Do you like the length of the sleeve? Yeah. Yeah, just the fullness. Yes. Yeah. Let's just take it. And one lips. tiny bit off the hem. I love the white and I love the blue. No, I love it too. Yeah. Cool. So cool. cool. And my bag. Yeah, like, I'm busy. I'm busy. Yeah, I'm, busy. <laughs> I'm busy, so I grab a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's in Millie Graham. Oh, boys. Boys at the back. Oh, boys at the back. I think it's cool. I love it. I love the size. I love the fit. You can never have too many grey hoodies. No, I love that. Oh, I love the colour. Oh, it's so good. Oh, look. Look at that. Look at that piping. Stunning. Stunning. Oh, my gosh. It's my favourite colour. We need to work out the vibe. I feel like she's expensive. She's expensive. She loves to go places. She plays tennis. Oh, she has a helipad. Has a helipad. On her property. Granddaddy owns the golf club. He owns the suburb. He owns the suburb. <laughs> Chloe she's Gabriella Brixton. Brixton. Yes. I she's like a way more expensive version of I want um, Sarah. Out of oh my banks. god, out of banks. I freaking love her. She's that. like a really yes. expensive version of her. She's so like it's like stay home daughter. Yes. Carter. Carter's cool. Carter's, Carter's, Carter's her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. And then on again, off again. She's just like It's like a whole child. drama. <laughs> yeah. Benedict. That feels a bit um. Eggy. Eggy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, Jasper's kind of Jasper's cool. cool. Yeah. He's a bit edgy. Or is it a bit Twilight? Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. no. But, but scrap like, it. Like, Darcy. Darcy. Yes. 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 Violet? <gasps> yeah, I love Violet. Oh, Violet. Violet. Let's turn the camera off. When we finally realized that our inspo is Blair Waldorf. Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. Yeah. Gossip Girl. That's like describing. Hi. Oh my god, honey. <laughs> Let's do one more so we get to 15. Dylan. 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 Yeah, Dylan. Dylan's cute. Should we do it Beckham? Beckham's cute. Beckham's cute. <laughs> Now, this morning I just woke up with no energy and luckily I had nothing major on today. I woke up, I went to the gym, I had a PT session and I came home to wash my face. Now, I am using my Esme products here. Today's vlog is sponsored by Esme Skin Minerals. If you scroll down to my description box on YouTube, then you can see a link because Esme gave me the opportunity to make my own Sarah's Day Favorites page on their website and you get free gifts with each and save money. These are my favorite bundles at the moment. They're the products that I I'm using. Also, if you use the code SD15, you get an extra 15% off everything on the website. You can't use it with any other offer, but you get an extra 15% off these bundles, which are already at a good price. This is what I'm using to cleanse my skin. It is the probiotic milk cleanser. If you have sensitive skin, this is amazing. So it's not too harsh. It's not going to strip your skin. And I use that morning and night. And then I'm going in with the skin snack. This is a face mist. As many of you guys know, I always talk about applying hyaluronic acid, which is my next product. Apply that to wet skin. So I spray the mist on and then I apply hyaluronic acid to my skin. And then I'm going in with the probiotic skin milk. This just brings back a bit of life and radiance to my skin. Now my two favorite moisturizers are either the firming moisturizer or the brightening moisturizer. I have included the firming moisturizer in my bundles on the Esme website, but today I just felt like my skin was looking dull. So the brightening moisturizer does have vitamin C in it, so I'm gonna use that. My favorite Esme product, I think of all time, the Eye Delight Reflection Eye Balm. It is by far the best eye cream I have ever used. Now here I'm deciding, am I gonna put makeup on today or am I gonna have a makeup free day? And I figured it's gonna be makeup free because I'm just literally chilling around the house. If I'm having a makeup free day, then I'll just put like four drops of the gold oil. I love this oil. I've been using this one for years. I'll just apply four drops to my face and then a little bit to my chest. Just before I sign off clearly here, I have not done my hair. I just slick it back in a bun because that's what I do pretty much every single day. I just wanted to show you the shampoo and conditioner I've been using. Segue to my shower buddy, Spider-Man. Tell me you have kids without telling me you have kids. This is the shampoo and conditioner I've been using. I have included these products in my link, which again, you can find in the description box. My SD15 code is valid until the 13th of November. So if you wanted to stock up for Christmas presents or even just give Esme a try for yourself, then now's a great time to save 15%. Moving 
on to today. Like I said, I just had to do some things around the house, starting off with my office. I had to do like, I don't know, half an hour of like invoices and just some emails, but I cannot work in a messy environment. This is me cleaning it up and getting my desk all ready and smashing out some work. And yeah, I didn't really vlog anything, but it was just me doing some grocery shopping, doing some folding, putting away folding, doing laundry, doing laundry, and then doing a little bit more laundry. And that's what I did. Bye. Do you want to cook or no? Yeah. We are making oatmeal banana choc chip bread. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. You are my best friend. You're my best friend. Well, you and Malachi, you're both my best friends. You're my girlfriend. You're, I'm your girlfriend? Yeah. Does that mean you're my boyfriend? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Pick a hat, what one? I think the green one, because I'm wearing green. Oh, I'll wear green. It looks great. We're going to make pizza. We're going to make oatmeal bread. We're going to make pizza in the night. Yeah. We're going to do cricket. You can do it with your mom and dad. And you want to come over to our house, you can be my big friend and we can play together. One and a half cups. Okay, yep. One cup of flour. One cup of flour. We're going to use spelt flour, but you can use gluten-free flour if you want. That's half a cup. Right, stirring. Do I have a turn? It's nice, Sharon. Well, you can do it for a bit and I'll have a turn after. What is it? I need to get these little measuring spoons. Little measuring spoons. A quarter teaspoon. Baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. That. Do the hiccups? Around a quarter teaspoon of salt. I want to go to be salt. Should we do cinnamon? Cinnamon. 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 Yes, that was your first time saying it properly. Keep going. We like ours very cinnamony here. Yeah, good. I think we do a tiny bit of nutmeg. It's working. Boop, 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 boop. You do my life. You have to do the machine. Do you want to try? I can't. I reckon you can. Look how good you're getting now. Look, you're doing it really good. Too hard. Too hard, okay. No, we can do. We can put hot in there. Put what? Honey. <gasps> yes. Do you have the hiccups? Yes. That's not good. Cut two eggs. Man. That, that was great. And then to make it extra fluffy, we're gonna do a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Can I eat apple cider vinegar? You can lick that, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> yeah, apple cider vinegar just helps things, I feel like, get extra fluffy. Now we're going to do four tablespoons of melted coconut oil. One, two, three, four. A quarter cup of maple syrup. We're gonna do two <laughs> tablespoons of coconut sugar. Underneath, scoop it over. Underneath, scoop it over. We're gonna wing this. That's roughly a quarter cup. Yum! Watch out! Watch out! This is a rustic cook because I should have known we weren't fully in the sleep schedule to cook today, but <laughs> you might want to go and pick those up. We're gonna throw this in the oven. And I'm gonna clean up all of this. Hi, Melly. Look at him, you're teaching him how to crawl. I can stand up now. Malachi. Hi, darling. Hi. We can, uh, he grows up. He can be my first brother. He is your first brother. Mocha's a boy. Mm -hmm. And Emmy's baby's a girl. And what if mommy has another baby? It's a girl. It's going to be a girl. Oh, we'll see. Got a boy already. We've got a boy already, true. One boy. We need a girl. We don't got a girl. We don't have a girl, do we? Happy Friday. My house is a mess, but it's so quiet. Fox is at kindy. I had to get a nanny today because I have a full day shoot, which is fun, but I'm in a predicament. You need to just bear with me because I'm still getting ready. It feels really weird being in like proper clothes because honestly, if I'm in like mum zone, regardless of what I'm doing, I'm literally always in active wear. And that's fine because like, that's just my life. And that's very authentic to my lifestyle. Today, I've got to go to the warehouse. I'm filming a campaign for Adobe Acrobat. I love, I love when a brand comes to me and says like, hey, number one, do you use our product? I say yes all the time. Number two, do you want to make a reel or like a campaign about the product? And it can be totally your vision. I only work with brands that number one, I genuinely use and I like and brands who give me creative freedom that's the word I'm looking for Adobe Acrobat kind of gave me a brief it's like being in year 12 drama but for my job if you loved drama at school like you'll just feel my passion my character I'm the boss of House of Groms but I'm like a 
bitch, right? So I have to be like this really like sassy, grumpy boss. So this is my outfit of the day, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do because real talk for a second, I'm a breastfeeding mother, right? Like I breastfeed every three to four hours and I fed Malachi like two hours ago. Our warehouse isn't super far away, but it's not just like down the road where I can like duck in and feed and then go back. Do I pump? I don't know. Like Malachi is, he nearly seven months. Oh my gosh, he'll be seven months in like a week. And he is exclusively breastfed. Like I'm not saying that as a flex, I'm just, just stating the facts. Maybe I've offered him a bottle once of breast milk, but he's never really had to take it. Do I pump and just hope he takes a bottle? Or do I just say to the team, look, we gotta take a break and I don't have my nanny all day. Anyway, I just have mum guilt all the time. Even though Malachi is so happy and I love our nanny and I know I'm doing a good job. I just like, if I'm not with him, I feel really guilty. Anyway, if you're a working mum, you might just like seeing this. I pumped a lot more with Fox. I just like had this emergency stash for no reason. And I ended up having to throw out all my milk that was in the freezer because if you want to donate milk, you have to do it in like a certain way. And like, I don't know, I don't think I like sterilized everything properly. Anyway, so I had to throw it all out because I just had this emergency stash for literally no reason. Let me just cut out my boobs from the frame. This time I just haven't felt the need to pump that much because I'm just always with Malachi. Like he just comes around everywhere with me. But today I had access to have a nanny, a babysitter, and I could just smash out this campaign. I'm gonna, I'll be back. I'm gonna feel so guilty if I leave all this milk and he doesn't take a bottle. If you are planning on exclusively breastfeeding or you, you do breastfeed exclusively, there's pros and cons to introducing a bottle early. I don't regret it, I reckon it'll be fine, but also being completely honest and transparent. I was having a really bad body image day yesterday. I actually have gone backwards and like, I just wanna speak honestly and not put pressure on other moms who are postpartum. But for me, once I had a baby, I did want to lose a bit of like my body fat percentage and just like look a bit more toned and fit, I guess. Like, I don't know, hate me if you want. That's just me being totally honest. This happened with Fox as well. Like whenever I'm breastfeeding in like that really intense breastfeeding phase where my body's just producing so much milk, one side of my brain, I'm like, this is so amazing. I'm so proud of my body because I'm keeping Malachi alive. And I just think it's so cool to breastfeed. The milk I'm producing right now, it's just so cool. But at the same time, I have random days where I just like have that bad body image moment, I guess. And I just look at myself and I'm like, oh, I haven't made progress or maybe I've gone backwards, which I kind of have gone backwards, you know, like I feel like I'm gaining weight because I'm so tired and I'm just eating and I'm just like giving my body what it actually needs, you know? So I just have to really consciously, sorry if you can hear this, it's so annoying. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if I flashed you. I'm just trying to consciously remind myself of like the amazing things my body is doing, that it's not the season, like it's not the season to be lean and like so super fit even, like I'm tired. I don't have time to work out every day. And like, even sometimes I don't, I don't wanna eat super healthy. I'm tired, I wanna have snakes alive, like Alan snakes for dessert. Like I just, I really appreciate when I hear maybe other mums just be honest like that. And it's, it is, it's really hard at the moment with like cancel culture and like online, just the internet in general to be vulnerable and honest, but whatever. Like I've always said my YouTube channel, my Instagram, like I always wanna be authentic and tell you what I'm truly feeling. And honestly, if you're a postpartum mom like me, I'm six, well, nearly seven months postpartum. I have days where, yeah, I'm like loving my body and I'm super grateful and I just, I'm so proud that it's produced two babies. And then other days, like yesterday, I had a bad body image day. It's dumb, but it's, I feel like a lot of us go through that. So that's my thoughts of the day. All right, I feel like that's all I'm really gonna get. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, I need to drink more water. Not great, but I do have some in the freezer that I can top up with. Let's combine that and see what we can do. All right, I've got that. And then I'm not a breastfeeding consultant or anything, but my sister is a midwife, so I know a little bit. Whenever I did pump, like I really have hardly anything, I will label the date, obviously, and also the time. 10 p.m., 7 a.m., 9. I just like giving him milk at the same time because it does kind of fluctuate in terms of like fat content and things like that. We'll add that. I've got an 8 a.m. and a 9 a.m. Like this is from when he was pretty young, so I might leave this to defrost. I have so much anxiety anxiety about this milk situation, but worst comes to worst, I come back, feed him, it is what it is. Hey Siri, call Kurt. Calling Kurt home. Is it just my husband or does anyone else's husband pick up for everyone but their wife? You have reached the message oh, bank of... No! Zero, four. No! Hey! 
I can always rely on you to answer. Are you just driving to the office now? I'm just about to park. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, just let them know that I'm driving now. And obviously, oh. I'm on a milk time limit, so let's smash it out. Yeah. I'll see you in like 15 minutes then. Easy, I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye. of this whole campaign is like The Office, like this. Steve Carell slash Ricky Gervais. Is Ricky Gervais the UK version of The Office? Yeah. yeah, okay, that's the inspiration. So everyone has to be really dry and like we think we're really good bosses, but we're not, which is kind of the truth. <laughs> for sunny i like the blue i also agree with the comment that maybe we need to make it a little bit darker just because this is Double <laughs> <Tuesday! Yeah! laughs> Just smashed a bunch of tacos. Delicious, but I hadn't had breakfast. Good news, bad news. Bad news is I'm super overexposed. Hello, hi, 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 hi. Good news is I only have one scene to go. Like I'm in one more scene, but they just take so long to set up. Like Kurt is amazing at what he does, but he's such a perfectionist, which is great for the content, but not good for my time limit. So yeah, I've got one more scene to go. So we're gonna quickly film that. Bad news, Malachi did not take the bottle. My nanny just messaged me. She tried to offer it to him twice and he was just really restless and crying and he's asleep now. So I'm gonna have to go home ASAP and feed him because he's just not gonna wanna take a bottle. My boobs are filling up quickly. I didn't bring a pump or anything, but such a shame. Like he's such a good breastfeeder, but yeah, he just doesn't wanna take a bottle. So I live like 15 minutes away from the office, like 20 minutes away, and I only have my nanny for another hour and a half. So we need to smash it out. But I think it's coming along well. Guys, I'm having issues. It's happening again. It's happening every time I try to film an intro or an outro, I just ramble. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like this video if you did enjoy it, and yeah, subscribe. See, when I when I try to not ramble, it just doesn't, doesn't come out right. If you did like this video, please give it a like because it really supports my channel, and make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. Now, before I go, let's get right to the point. What kind of videos do you guys want to see? Because all you guys ever say is vlogs. I want to see vlogs. I want to see Malachi and Fox and like, fine, that's fine. But like, is there anything like, do you like cooking videos? Do you want me to make something? Do you want to do a meal prep series? Like, do you want to do an organization series? I don't know. Like just comment below. Let me know what you want to see. And I will film that for you because I like, I, I do vlogs all the time, but I'm like, are we, are we are you sick of vlogs? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week in the life. It was very diverse, a pretty good depiction. I feel like I use that word a lot, but a good representation of what my weeks are kind of looking like at the moment. Um, but I am going to go put my baby to sleep. I'm going to... Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.